Today we are back with heartbreaking news about a severely injured elephant begging for life near a main road. It is reported that this poor elephant, who was in a critical situation, has been staying for a few days near a main road, as if she was seeking the assistance of humans to save her life. One local resident informed the Wildlife Conservation Center regarding the distressed animal. As soon as they got the news, a team consisting of a veterinary surgeon and helpers rushed to the spot to save the elephant. When the wildlife officers visited the spot, the elephant was seen limping with great difficulty. They sedated the elephant and hurriedly started the treatments. The elephant appeared to be fragile and weakened with pain. She was critically injured with gunfire. It is not clear whether she had been shot by a poacher or injured with a trap gun. There was a deep puncture wound on her right hind leg. There are several injuries in other parts of the body too. The situation has been worsened as the injured areas were secondarily infected. The deep wound has festered badly. Her right hind leg is swollen due to accumulated pus. Here you can see the severity of the wound in the hind leg. The team was deeply moved with the condition of the elephant and were determined to take every possible action to heal the poor elephant. They had to open the deep septic wound to remove the decaying flesh. As they are highly concerned about minimizing the pain to the elephant, the elephant's eyes were covered with a black cloth to avoid the shock to the elephant associated with the treatment process. They had to push the elephant slightly to align the elephant in a position which eases the inspection and cleaning of the wound. The poor elephant has become incontinent by excreting feces and urine with intense pain and fear. The poor elephant has suffered a lot in the forest without being noticed by anyone. Bullet particles were also removed. The wounds were washed with water using a hose. Whole body was showered with water to minimize the heat stress. Fecal matter was also washed away. The veterinary surgeon worked with dedication and great sympathy about the elephant. Now they are preparing to give saline to the elephant. Prior to the saline treatment, the ear area was cleaned thoroughly. Saline is given intravenously. Blood sample was also drawn to be analyzed in the laboratory. Then the wound was flushed again with saline solution with help of a syringe. The wound was dressed with providone iodine ointment. Antibiotics were given intramuscularly. They had to give several doses according to the estimated body weight. Anti-inflammatory drug and painkillers were also administered.
The wound was externally smeared with antiseptic and fly repellent ointment. Elephant was showered intermittently to avoid the heat stress. About 12 bottles of saline was given to the elephant to regain its lost energy. Some antibiotic was administered subcutaneously. Revival drug was given intravenously as the initial treatments were finished. The treatment lasted for hours. After giving the antidotes, the team tried to make the elephant stand. But as the elephant was severely weakened with pain, he was unable to stand. As the elephant is in critical condition, they are planning to relocate him to the nearest elephant transit home. With limited facilities, they are preparing the elephant to be transported. The villagers brought a backhoe to cut the ground to facilitate the transport vehicle to park in a position that eases the elephant to be loaded. With the use of ropes, they loaded the elephant into a large truck. The operation started at the daytime and ended in the darkness. They took every possible action to save the life of the elephant. The elephant will be kept and looked after in the emergency care treatment unit in the Udavalavat Elephant Transit Home. The team will daily monitor and treat the elephant until it gains a complete recovery. <laughs> 